that was pretty sneaky. I don't think anyone in the entire world saw this release coming from Traxxas. This right here is the new Mercedes-Benz G63 AMG 6x6, and this truck instantly became a hit as soon as it hit the internet, and I myself was drooling over this thing instantly. It is just absolutely amazing, and just a welcome uh, you know, addition to the Traxxas line of scale crawlers. I love the look of this. It is something different for the, the scale community that uh, you know is just going to offer a, a lot of fun out there on all different types of terrain. And I was, of course, really happy to get one. Uh, I got a lot of messages from you guys asking when I was going to review it, and it's finally here, and, and I get to show you it in, in detail. Actually, I'm not going to go over it in crazy detail because the, the front section of this is really like a TRX-4, but uh, there's a lot of other cool features throughout this that we definitely need to talk about. You need to know about before you go and grab one of these. I mean, actually, this thing is so incredible. I, I wouldn't steer you away from it, and I haven't even driven it yet, uh, but, you know, let's get into all those details. All right, let's start off, obviously, with this G63 body, and uh, it is just absolutely awesome. Comes in two different colors. So I've got the black finish here, and there's also, like, a gunmetal gray type of finish and uh, you know there's a, a nice pearl metallic deep pearl metallic in here and uh, when the light hits it really looks cool but uh, up front here so the front actually doesn't have a a separate bumper well it does there there is one attached to the chassis uh, but in this particular model the front bumper is molded into the Lexan here but uh, it's still highly detailed you know we've got some decals in the front then we have a chrome grille as well with the Mercedes-Benz logo uh, there and then uh, headlights with the clear lenses and there are LED lights behind there. There's actually a lot of LED lights on this kit, which just blows my mind even more. I've already had it lit up, looks very, very cool. The headlights already pre-wired from the factory. We've got the marker lights up top here on the hood. Those work as well. And then there's actually side markers here. Those light up and to top it all off, there is even more lights up here on the visor. The visor is really cool. We've got uh, you know this molded uh, plastic coming off the front of it. Just looks really awesome. Now the other thing you might have seen here is there are clear windows. There's a bit of a tint to it that's in the decal. Really nice look to it. And you know for those of you that want to go put an interior in there later on, this means it's really easy to do. Uh, we've got we have windshield wipers on the front. We've got the side mirrors here, and they do have some decals behind there. Uh, so uh, they're chrome, and you know it just adds more to the, the scale factor of it. Even the trim, the trim on the side of the body here actually runs all the way along. It's a completely separate piece. It's not molded in, and uh, it actually allows you to have door handles in there as well. It's all screwed in from the back, and those trim pieces actually act as supports for the wires under here uh, for the LED lights. So I mean, the, the thought that was really put into this body is, is kind of next level here. Really, really well done. Uh, out in the back, there is a chrome roll bar. And uh, actually, let me just pull this body off so I could kind of show you the rear. Still plugged in. Let me pull that out. All right. Now, in the back, as you can see, there's that roll bar. And then we have uh, the rear bumper is actually molded in as well. So, you know, the, it's kind of like a fascia on a real car, that style of bumper. Uh, and then in the back here, we've got the, the working taillights as well. Let me just flip this over so you guys can see all the wires in there. There they are, really nicely, you know, neatly tucked in, zip tied down to those uh, guides that I, that I told you about that are part of the trim. Uh, and then we have the lighting module here. We've got the LED lights up front, nicely braced. Uh, same with the, the LED lights in the rear. Even the marker lights are nicely secured and even the top visor lights uh, really just well laid out and, and you don't have to do any extra work, uh, you know, to neaten things up. Traxxas did a great job putting this body together and it looks absolutely awesome. All right, let's start talking about the chassis now. And as I mentioned, you know, this this is basically a TRX-4 up in the front, uh, but there are a couple changes that I do want to address. So here is the inner bumper of it. It's just kind of a frame of a bumper, and then it's got this nice uh, semi-chrome skid right below it, which really adds to the accent of the rig, uh, and it actually shows a little bit when the body is on. So that is a very neat setup, and it's actually really nice. It's got a very good approach angle to it, if I remember correctly it's somewhere around 60 degrees in the front and I think it was like 55 in the back so you know even though this is a really high-end looking off-road type of vehicle 
there's still function here. They did properly give you a clearance up front uh, for when you're approaching uh, stuff to climb over and everything. Uh, as you can see, we've got the fender wells here up in the front. We've even got the, the little battery pad. Uh, if you do want to go run a small pack up front to get more weight up front, that is there. And then right behind here is, is the standard body mounts that we've seen before. Now, let me uh, let me get into the, the frame rails. I, I'll talk about the frame rails now. So these are now extended frame rails on this much longer in the rear, obviously, to support the additional axle in the rear of the vehicle. And uh, it's that stamp steel frame, uh, ladder frame style with uh, composite cross braces, and pretty much everything is the same in the front. Uh, the, the big changes in the center section here, there is a new cross brace with the drop-down mounting bosses uh, for the rear links on here. So that's that's a big change to this particular kit. Uh, and as you can see, might as well just keep talking about the rear of this vehicle. God, I think I need a bigger workbench. So these are the new rear fender wells, and uh, they, they incorporate the shock tower into the, the top of them, but they're really nice and long, and they still have the cutouts here. So you go and put the wheel well lights in there, which is pretty neat in my book. I wonder if they're, I, I'm assuming they're gonna have a whole kit just to, to light up the wheel wells in this, uh, but that will look pretty cool as an addition to this as well. Uh, so anyway, here is the, the rear body mount. We've kind of seen that before, and that's really the big changes uh, uh, to the frame here, other than uh, we've got some running boards on the side, uh, semi chrome you know to match the front skid they bolt right onto the, to the rails here that uh, secure to the floor pans and then let me flip this over because I got to show you guys this this is really cool we've got exhaust on both sides dual tip exhaust even the muffler here how cool is that you know like finally finally we're getting that scale into things that we're starting to have you know full exhaust on there which is pretty cool and then in the back it's it's also a rear skid I'm, I'm guessing or maybe like a fuel tank cover not exactly sure or on that and let me know what you think in the comments section below uh, but it's uh, got some holes in there to, to either add to the look or to let dirt out I'm not quite sure on that one but uh, again very cool stuff going on up top I'll get to the electronics in a little bit I do want to talk to you guys about the underside of this because we've obviously got some changes here and that is to this center axle set but let me start off in the front so we you know we've got portals on this it is true to the scale of the vehicle you know the the real vehicle has portals so this vehicle has portals as well. That's Traxxas' big thing. And it's just very cool that, you know, it all works together. It looks awesome together. So we've got the portals up front with the nice steering knuckles, all ball bearing supported, and T-lock. So we've got T-lock differentials in all three axles here. So that what that means is you could go from the transmitter, lock up the differentials on this, and, uh, you know, go cross some, some gnarly terrain with it. Or you could flip the switch on the radio, open up the differentials, and, and you know, be able to drive this nice and smooth around your, your backyard or some flat terrain and stuff like that. So that is very cool. Uh, I'll move on to the center transmission. I've seen this before in the TRX-4. It is a high low range transmission, which again, you could go and flip the switch on your radio to set it from high to low and, and transfer it as you're, as you're driving over different types of obstacles, depending on what, you, what type of power you need. Uh, so that is very cool that they retain that as well. Um, and then we've got slider axles throughout. So we've got the, uh, the telescoping drive shafts here, nice metal universal ends for durability. And, and they work out really well. So here is the big change. Here's that transfer axle. Uh, so we've got a basically a new rear cover on this that allows it to transfer the, the power to the rear uh, portal axle on this now. So, you know, really cool setup, nice and smooth. Uh, I like how everything floats. There doesn't, there is zero bind in here. Uh, so everything works really, really well. Now supporting the axles uh, are obviously these nice steel links in here that we've seen before on Traxxas kit. So nice, sturdy, strong links. Uh, and, and in the rear now they're just a shorter link so you know to, to reach out to the rear axle to support that and like i said here are those mounting bosses right underneath here to support those axles so it's a four link out back here way out back here four link here and then three link up front with a pan hard bar and, and again it's all the seal links throughout now you know traxxas didn't skimp out at all anywhere on this uh we've got aluminum shocks all the way around so all six shocks are aluminum on this and and uh, they're all ultra smooth they're just a great shock from traxxas love the way they feel uh, you know, we've got the portals. I talked to you guys about that. All steel gears inside the, the portal housings and uh, universals up front. All steel shafts within the, the rear axles. So really durable setup all around. All metal gears inside the transmission, of course. Really robust setup. Let me talk about the electronics really quick. So we've got the 2075X servo up front. Uh, does a fine job for this ready to run, getting it steered. 21 turn 550 Titan motor to power everything. And then we've got the three servos to shift the T 
lock differentials and of course do shift the high low transmission got the xl5 hv speed controller right here and a receiver over here in the receiver box uh, you know again as we've seen on the trx4 but you know what is kind of new to this one is it does come with the module here the power distribution block which is hooked up to the speed controller which powers all the lights in the body so that's already fitted in there wired up nice and ready to go i've already got my 3s lipo pack in here that i'm going to use with it my traxxas power cell lipo pack 5000 milliamp and that's what i'm going to use to power it through uh throughout all of my testing now it doesn't come with the battery or charger so you know that's again that's what i have i have a 3s over here is the charger i'm going to use with it uh you know traxxas has their own chargers that made up with their id plugs makes charging nice and simple you know just plug it in and hit the start button all right, I went over all that. Now, I didn't talk to you guys about the wheels and tires on this. So we've got six all the way around here, and uh, they are a 2.2 millimeter beadlock style rim. Uh, they're glued on, but uh, what uh, is unique about these is they've got a nice red faceplate to them, and then they have the insert here that screws into place. So, uh, you know, it's got that cool Mercedes look to it. And then the center cap here is actually just press fit in. Uh, inside the center cap is an O-ring, and it slides over to the threaded axle to, to secure that center cap in there. Uh, so overall, very cool look on it. And then we have these new S1 tires on here. So they actually have the same outer diameter as, as a TRX4, as a standard TRX4 tire, but it is a 2.2 rim inside instead of a 1.9. And it's not it's not as large as Traxxas's other 2.2 you know, style tires. It's an in-between tire and in-between rim type of uh, setup here, but S1 compound, which means they're nice and soft, ready to grab some traction. And uh, you know, again, really glued on well from what I could tell. So I think they're going to do really well on uh, all types of terrain out there. And uh, that really wraps up all the details of this particular kit. Let me go and grab the rest of the accessories to show you what else it comes with before we move on to going outside. And here is the TQI transmitter. So here is your you know high-low shifting switch. Here is your T-lock switch up here. And we've got our standard trims. It is a link-enabled radio system. You can go get the module later to set up in the vehicle if you want. You will need four AA's. I've already got my Traxxas power cells in there. And then finally, the usual bag of stuff that uh, you know Traxxas gives you, the quick startup manual, some basic tools, some body clips, there's your decals, warranty card, and your service and support information there. So definitely go through all of that. But you know what, guys? It is really time for me to go drive this. I can't tell you how much I wanted to drive this thing since it arrived, and that was only about 12 hours ago from when I'm filming this. So I'm gonna head outdoors right now. We're gonna see this thing doing some serious off-road work.
So, is a 6x6 better than a 4x4? Well, uh, yeah, in some respects it is. Now, if you're just going out to have some fun on the trails, if you want something that looks really cool, then the 6x6 is very awesome. Traxxas did an amazing job on this TRX-6, and this Mercedes body looks killer out there on the trails, in the dirt, by the river, wherever you put it. And it is extremely capable as well now does it do everything a 4x4 does it comes close but it's a different type of driving style with this you have a whole nother axle in the rear and you know sometimes that does a great job of of getting this rig off of obstacles that you may be hung up that you may be high sided on like you would be with a 4x4 and there are other times where it was it would be more nimble to just have four wheels on the truck to to clear some other type of obstacles so when it comes down to it you know the 4 by fours they're great they're just very nimble very versatile but the cool factor is just there on a six by six and, and this thing uh, beyond looks it does do the job of, of conquering terrain let's let's dive a little deeper into the performance now let me start off with the steering on it this does have the 2075 x servo up front and we're used to seeing this on on pretty much all the trx fours if i remember correctly and uh, you know it does a great job for a ready to run servo uh, would you want a little bit more steering out of it yeah i found a couple of times where i really wanted some more power especially with the rear wheels driving and the servo stalled out a bit uh, wasn't able to push the truck back and, and you know it's got a lot of truck to push uh but you know it's for just bouncing around in the backyard through dirt uh terrain like i was uh, at the beginning of the action portion of the video and just in general flatland stuff it's just fine it's where you really want to push this thing you might want to go for one of the optional tracks of servos all right, now onto the handling of it. Uh, you know, it's got a TRX4 base to it. That suspension is great. The portals, the portals are awesome. I, I just love the clearance on them. They do a great job of, of just getting this truck over a lot of different stuff uh, out there in the dirt. I mean, it would just it would just straddle the rocks and stuff. Uh, and with the power of the wheels, if it did get hung up, you just pull the throttle. All four rear wheels would just push the front axle over whatever it was hung up on. Uh, so the the truck is, is is extremely capable. Love the way the suspension articulates. It's really cool to watch the two rear wheels, uh, you know, go in opposite directions of each other as you're crawling over stuff. Um, but you know, we know that the TRX4 is capable, and you know, it's got that same DNA here, which makes it a, a very capable truck as well. Now the power of it, uh, again, it's pretty much the same power system there. I was running it on a, a 3S battery pack. Uh, you know, some people run on 2S, some people run on nickel metal still, but I was running it on 3S. Definitely had the wheel speed to jump this thing up and over some of the, the rock faces and stuff that I need to get over. And some of the loose dirt where I haven't been able to get other trucks and over uh, certain dirt mounds, this truck was able to get up those inclines uh, just on loose dirt. You know, it's just dirt spilling off the tires. Really cool to watch. It just adds to the experience of it. Uh, but it does have great wheel speed to it. The, the traction is there with these tires on rock. So, uh, yeah, great job on these new tire tracks. Just love the lug pattern on them. And, and they do hook up really well on multiple types of terrain. Love that. But, uh, the, the, you know, the big thing to watch out with this, uh, and I'm not going to really talk about durability because nothing happened to it. So I'll just I'll give you some tips on things to watch out for. So watch it on your side hills. If you're going on a dirt mound and you're on the side of it, uh, you know, instead of going straight up it, it might roll over. I was actually able to save it a number of times where, you know, I only rolled this thing over uh, uh, maybe three or four times in total while driving it. And one of them, because I was just doing power slides and loose dirt, which was super Super cool. Just watch the CG on it. Watch the traction. You now have six tires uh, that are grabbing. Uh, and so if you're going hard into a corner, uh, it may roll because you got six tires grabbing the ground and might just throw the top over. So overall, I mean, the, the rig is just really capable, but it's it's just a it's a different driving experience. Like I said, you know, it's more of a, you know, just an excitement thing, uh, an experience type of drive. And, and you know, it's a lot of fun out there on the trails, uh, I, even in the dirt and over by the, the water. It is waterproof. I, you know, we knew that already from Traxxas, but I did have this thing. 
up uh, you know up to the top of the wheel wells actually in water no issues with uh, the electronics everything is running just fine motor stayed cool during the testing you know this truck just looks amazing out there i love the detail on it it just adds to the excitement factor of it the led lights are awesome on it and the one thing i wish Trexas did do on this and I'm gonna ding you guys for it was the body clips. You've got this amazing body on here and you've got four body clips. You have an X-Max without body clips. You've got a Rustler 4x4 without body clips. It, when re redesigning the bumpers and stuff on here, it would have been cool to see some sort of interlocking thing where maybe the body locked into the bumpers on it or something. You had a, a quick latch in the rear. That would have been awesome to get rid of those body clips on top because this is just an amazing body and uh you know it'd be nice if those clips weren't there i i can't wait to drive this thing again i drove it from the parking lot to pretty much every spot where i tested it you know and then through the test sessions as well and even beyond just the camera stuff i, I couldn't get enough of this trx6 they did an awesome job with it i mean here it is if you're looking for the ultimate scale off-road vehicle the the truck that is just going to turn heads the traxxas trx6 mercedes-benz is definitely a truck you need to get